Moving on to next category, we have best neo pop album. Neo pop, that is the genre um, formerly known as singer songwriter album, formerly known as R and B, uh, um, <laughs> because we don't like that genre. Because historically, it has been used to basically categorize black people music in yeah. a certain way. Um, it's basically very much just what pop music generally is. Especially this year, um, it's so iterative of a black people music that has gone to the 70s and 60s of black yeah. people music, more or less. Um, that being said, with this neo-pop sort of genre that we're doing, there was a lot that came out this year that was really interesting. You had Chalumbo by Jeannie Aiko. You had The Ungodly Hour by Chloe and Hailey. You had After Hours by The Weeknd, It Is What It Is by Thundercat, and Durand by Durand Bernard. All interesting albums in the Very their own. good. Right. Yeah. Um, I know Chalumbo with uh, Janae Aiko, probably the one I listen to the most, uh, all the, uh, other than After Hours. And it's something that going into, I didn't know what kind of, I kind of like was expecting one sound, but then got something that was so much more put together than I thought. You had BS featuring her that I listened to so much as a bar of flexing on my ex in my Model X. Like that's always yeah. going to go hard. Um, <clears throat> the Ungodly Hour with Chloe and Haley. Fantastic album by them too. They're a very young um, duo, and there's some of the stuff they mixed tra like trap and B. They mixed um, a lot of different chill sounds and stuff together. That was a, just a fantastic top to bottom. We have After Hours by the Weekend, which is one of the best albums of the year by far, and that. just ridiculously good. It is what it is by Thundercat. A really good album. Um, something that grew on me over time because Thundercat is something that I've been in a mood to listen to because he is quite. Um, eclectic with the sound and stuff, yeah. but as like a top, like a top to bottom uh, work, I really enjoy. It. I love the bass lines and stuff he's playing. His features on it were quite good as well, and everything was put together very. And well. Thundercat only recently has kind of like gotten to using his vocals more yes, in his production because yes. generally he's like a really eclectic, wild out there producer. But um, in doing this, it is just like an absolute banger mm -hmm. on the track, and then uh, banger of an album. I mean. banger um, of an album. As far as tracks go, I just got to shout out. Uh, Black Quails, which is just like kind of this amazing, um, featuring Steve Lacey and Steve Arrington yes. and Gambino. And Gambino. It's this so amazing, good. almost like, um, what what is it? Black Messiah, that album. I forget who it was. By D'Angelo, that's the word it is. It's a really nice uh, funk groove thing. And then Dragon Ball Do Rag. <laughs> I look kind of fly. <laughs> next to you, baby girl. Just absolutely amazing. Um, anyways, we. And then you have, have Durand by Durand Bernard, um, one of my court packing picks. It was a really kind of well put together R and B, you know, quote unquote, kind of album. You had a lot of eclectic sounds in there. You had this really nice sort of mix of rapping and singing. It was very self referential mm. to like um, the lyrics and what was happening. Had a very sort of um, dark and sarcastic tone to it, mm -hmm. um, while also being playful and very fun. Throughout the whole thing. I really liked Curiosity on it. I know there's a song with Kei on a volume that I liked as well. Um, there's a lot on here that, like, was a court packing so that I had to listen to it recently. And I'm yeah. glad you put it in there because it's very, very good. One yeah. of my favorites. Um, definitely glad you put it in, in the list for Best Neo Pop because it's an album that I think definitely deserves it. It's and good. It, even to say the entire, like, Neo Pop genre, there are sounds in it where I'm like, okay, this sounds like it could have been a Gorillaz production. And then you have, yeah. like, Kei Trinata over here, so that's a different sound. Any Wise, Ari Lennox, those provide different sort of sounds and things. You have things that sound more like R&B and then things that sound more like rap. And then things that sound more like alternative, all in kind of one thing. Yep. It's really kind of incredible mix. But, of course, we've got to pick one, maybe two as like a runner-up here. Um, I have a guess of what your what, one what, is. What would mine be? Um, are you going to give it to The Weeknd? Nope. Wow, okay. I'm going to give it to uh, Janae Aiko. Shalombo. Wow. It's the one I listen like after the weekend, it is the one I've listened to the most. And it is an album that I am very, very impressed by. Something that I'm not a big fan of a lot of features in albums, I tend not to be, but all of the features in her album are ridiculously good and everything flows together, which is very hard to do, especially in that like neo pop genre because everybody kind of usually features they they tug a little too much within their own sound a lot of times and distract from their that from the other works, but it's so good. And I listen to BS on repeat so many times. Love that track, along with so many others.
I'll go with that, and I'm going to put Durand um, by Durand Bernard as a runner-up, just go because with. it has the production is so immaculate, and how yes. many different sounds it travels yes. through. Um, the self-referential humor in it and tone in it are just really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a touch to it, and just into, in addition to the lyrics in it are very mm -hmm. nice. So yeah, that was a really nice year for this genre. Maybe we'll call it neo pop going forward. Maybe yeah. we'll change it around, but um, it's more representative of the genre than I think other things are, and it's for yeah. fuck's sake, not um, R&B. Yes, R&B.